Um, so your challenge is uh, um, directing your passion, your focus, where you want it to go. And um, there could be various areas of life. This could be job. Maybe you are trying to get a job doing something that you love, something that you're very passionate about. You're trying to earn money doing that and it's proving more difficult. Um, or uh, maybe you live in an area that's not, that doesn't have a lot of opportunities on this particular path or maybe you need to further your education. You would need to go get a degree in order to do this or it would help your cause. Um, this could also be a person that you're focused on. You have your passion focused on Aries that you're, you're wanting. But you're goal oriented that there's something you're trying to achieve in July and um, you may just have been running into a lot of obstacles uh, with it, especially previously. Because I, I feel like for many of you, this is something you've been working on for a while. It's a project, it's, it's, a, it's um, a goal, something that you want to uh, create, achieve, that has, uh, it hasn't been smooth sailing, but you're very focused on it and determined. Um, some of you may be joining a cause or a fight or a, uh, and the reason I say that is because we have the seven of wands here. So that's always talking about kind of like defending someone or something or, uh, defending injustice or defending a group because you have manas here. And, um, for those of you that you're kind of like, uh, yeah, standing up, protesting something, injustice. Uh, this is something that you're very kind of like, I, I'm sick of seeing this keep happening. I'm sick of seeing this repeating. I'm sick of seeing these people or these animals or these creatures or these, you know, this group being demoralized or discriminated against or, you know. So you're standing up for right, Aries, some of you. Um, some of you could just be defending a family member uh, or defending your family in general. Because, again, you got manas here. So um, defending what's yours, your people, your tribe, your property, your group, your uh, viewpoint. Um, but that's in the present energy. So this could be happening end of June, early July. You're defending your stance on something. Standing your ground is another thing that, another phrase that's often associated with the uh, with the Seven of Wands. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like these two are are related here. Yeah, they're they're connected. Um, some, you know, some of you may de be defending your choice to pursue a certain career path. Maybe you have family members who wanted you to like come into the family business or. Uh, do something more traditional or, or follow a career path or a relationship path. Maybe you're, for some of you, maybe you're defending your, this person you're, you know, wanting to be in a relationship with and, you know, your family or friends just, you know, don't really get it. Um, I feel like some of you may be dealing with a situation where your friends or somebody doesn't really like your partner or like who you're dating or like, they're not getting along with this person or, um, and you're, you're kind of defending them or, or defending your choice. Um, because that's all tied up together, isn't it? Whenever anybody like doesn't like who you're with, it's kind of like they're insulting you too, because I mean, you chose this person, right? So it's like, you're, you're kind of standing up, uh, you know, and the seven of rods, this came up for another sign. Maybe it was Scorpio, but, uh, in this card, you are on the, on the higher ground. So it is like, kind of like, you know, it's your right to do this, or you are in the right, at least from your perspective. And I am reading for you. And, um, you know, it is your choice. It's your decision, whatever this is. They can offer advice. Sure. And I do feel like you may be getting some good advice. I feel like you trust these people. They're not coming up in the reverse as, um, you know, attacking you. So I don't feel like that's what this card is. It's this and the Ace of Rods are all positive about making headway, you know, taking action, moving forward with something. So um, 
they're not going to talk you out of it. And I don't think that's their intention. There's just maybe some concerns with some people regarding something you're doing or someone you're seeing or some choice that you are making. The help that's going to be available. You've got four of cups. So this is, it could be an offer. It could be an apology. It could be a compromise, someone offering a compromise. Um, because the fours always kind of, and, and not every card does this, uh, but every reader reads differently. But the fours have always symbolized to me associations with the fourth house, which is about, in astrology, the fourth house is about family, the home. Um, so I do, but with madness here too, uh, I do feel like you're going to have, even if there are some people maybe that you're disagreeing with, you're going to know that they care about you and that they're really just trying to, to um, help you. They're concerned about you. Whatever's being said or done is being said or done out of love. Um, so whoever you're maybe at odds with, there are going to be others who are, you know, there for you and supporting you. Because I'm seeing support, good advice, um, and yeah, maybe an apology, an offer of reconciliation. Um, now, for some of you, this could be kind of, we were talking a little bit about job offers, opportunities. There could be an opportunity coming in and maybe, so we were talking about maybe you were having trouble finding a job where you could get paid to do what you love to do, but maybe there's an opportunity to intern or get some experience that would eventually get you up to the level. Because the Four of Cups can kind of talk about, eh, there's an offer, but I don't know that I like it all that much. But it's coming up as a help to you. So if you encounter something like that in July where it's like, oh, the pay is really low for this, but at least I'd be getting experience doing this or there's an unpaid internship and I don't really want to do an unpaid internship, but maybe it would lead to a paid in internship or even a job. So, um, yeah, if there's something that comes in in July on its surface that looks like, and even like someone offering, you know, asking you out or something that at first you're like, eh, that person's not my type. It's not usually who I would date. Give it a shot because it's coming up as a help to you. So even if it doesn't turn out being what you thought it was going to be, it leads to something or the experience helps you. Uh, it's a jumping off point um, for that. Now, what must be accepted? We've got the Five of Swords in reverse. So yeah, this is talking about um, the end of a conflict or averting a conflict. And that's apparent because uh, Wunyo is here. So yeah, whatever has been causing distress or You've been feeling like there have been a lot of obstacles, whether it is family or, you know, finding work or maybe it's both or um, you're going to be overcoming that. And many of you, you're going to be overcoming it through, you know, interviewing with somebody going on. A, you finally get a job interview. And uh, for some of you, maybe it is this offer that you're like, eh. it's not my favorite thing, but it'll do for right now. Or again, look at the positives. So. And some of you may be like, I I'm going to go back to school or I'm going to go at least talk to an advisor or someone because this is also a room of academics and uh, learning, learning and or teaching. So, yeah, you could be teaching a class, some of you, and that's how you're going to uh, make extra money. Or you could be getting into teaching, getting your teaching certification, looking into what that what is required of that, um, what degree you need and then what extra education that you would need or qualifications you would need in order to to do that and, and getting started on it. Um, I actually think you're going to be really excited about this because, again, you're you've got a goal and you're focused, um, you know, and your challenge is just to manifest this, make it happen. It's going to be a gradual thing, though, rather than overnight success, Aries. So and that goes against your fire energy. It's like I want it. I want it now. I just want to skip to the end. <laughs> And, you know, there are most things in life you can't do that. You got to go through the process. You know, they say it's all about the journey. I don't know if I agree with that all the time, but um, there's something to that. Uh, 
this does seem like more like a journey and uh, the Ace of Rods is taking that first step, that first action that's gonna get you your goal or get you the experience or the education that you need in order to get to your goal. But you're gonna, you are gonna enjoy the process because Wunyo is here. I mean, so sometimes it's just the fact of, it's like, yeah, things have been tough financially or maybe it's been causing arguments with you and your partner or arguments with you and your family because there's not enough money or, um, you know, you're always having to kind of scrimp and scrimp and, and uh, rob Peter to pay Paul or, or live paycheck to paycheck, that sort of energy. Um, even just taking this first step, though, it's going to be like, oh, there are brighter days ahead and it's going to make you feel better. And you're going to feel the energy just kind of lift. Um, for some of you, this is an opportunity coming out of nowhere. Like it's really going to be one of those very serendipitous things that just kind of, you know, you're in the right place at the right time. You're talking to the right person. As soon as they hear it, there's a position open doing what you want to do or in the line of work or that you want to get into. Um, or that they're teaching a course on something that you really want to learn about. So, um, Yeah, there's a lot of luck and power surrounding this. Whatever's going to bring you joy and happiness and an unexpected way that you can jump on this or get a move on this um, because you've got Canis here in the outcome. And four of coins in reverse. So feeling like you are... Um, Your energy is opening up, whereas before it may have been kind of like holding on. I got to hold on to. I got to hold on to this nine to five job that I hate because I don't have any other options. And, you know, this little pet project that I really want to do. I mean, I love it, but I don't know if I can ever make money at it. You're going to feel by the end of July and intuitively just kind of know and maybe through the help of a feminine energy, a woman who is uh, very intuitive herself, just kind of saying, hey, you just keep at it. You have real talent. You could have someone saying that to you, Aries. Like maybe you show your artwork to somebody and you know, it may, maybe you've never had any formal training, but uh, you know, someone who, like an art gallery owner is just like, hey, you, you really have some talent. You should come, we have classes on Tuesday nights. You should come check it out uh you know i think you'll really learn a lot or i want to put your stuff in my gallery and see if it sells there, there, there's something that kind of comes out of nowhere that speeds up this process again it won't be overnight but it's like you know there's an action you can take to kind of release your art to the world or release your skills your talents your gifts announce it to the world and um a wonderful creative new beginning um Yes, it would be more unstable financially uh, than maybe the nine to five job. At the end of the month, I think you're kind of trying to decide, you know, okay, in order to do this um, full on, I'm going to have to lose the day job or I'm going to have to figure out how to be stable financially. Like, is this really going to be viable right now? for me to do this internship or for me to, you know, just, just do what I want to do. And, uh, I feel like you're going to be inclined to go the more creative route, uh, Aries, but yeah, with this four coins in reverse, it does indicate, you know, financial instability for July. Um, but even with that, you have creative ways of stretching a dollar. So, I mean, I really feel like you're going to be finding ways of, uh, you know, canceling things or, you know, maybe selling off things you don't need in order to, to do this. For some of you, maybe you have to get the money together to enroll in a course or uh, go to school and, and or, or um, yeah, go learn, expand your skills in some way. Um but for many of you, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a, a bad money month. In fact, it, with this in reverse, it could mean that you're able to just feel a bit more free with your money. Um, 
So again, that's like complete opposite. Some of you is going to be one way, some it's going to be the other, but um, I just feel you feeling very open and ready to receive opportunities or what, whatever else comes in uh, through other people um, or the, or through spirit or, uh, through the energy that you're getting. But I do feel like many of you will be learning from a very talented, wise individual and just enjoying every minute of it, enjoying not only the knowledge that you're, that you are taking in, but then enjoying the results when you apply it to your own work, whatever this creative project is. I am seeing a lot of people doing paintings or, uh, you know, something involving paint or design or, or, uh, something like that. Um, so yeah, it may not be time to quit the day job quite yet. You may be trying, I mean, that may be your ultimate goal, but first it seems like, yeah, you need, you need some more experience doing this. You need some more, um, uh, instruction or, or education on certain aspects or, or doing this or really maybe, maybe uh, education on a certain aspect of it that brings in more money or that pays better than maybe the aspects you already know of it. Cause careers, I mean, there's so many different specialized areas you can go into uh, depending on what area of study it is. But um, you know, all tracks have branches, right? You can track off and specialize in this or go this way and specialize in that. I feel like there's something, one of those specialized directions that if you add it to the knowledge you already have, the knowledge and experience you already have would really increase your uh, money-making abilities here. 